program which runs from October to February every year, where a professional artist is embedded in a primary school to work on contemporary visual arts projects. Um, I think it's a really amazing project, um, I think both for the artist and the children. Um, I think as an artist, you, it's a dialogue between you as an artist and the kids, um, so it's really like about communication, about uh, not having fear, about, um, about sharing the world, really. I quite like to ask open-ended questions to elicit as broad a range of responses to the contemporary artworks as possible. And it's been really interesting that the children are placing their own kind of story and imaginative interpretation of the artworks. The artist will spend 15 weeks in the school. So that gives a good solid amount of time for the artist, the teachers, the students to get to know one another and become comfortable with the different practices involved. The artist not only pass on their skills to the students, the teachers can also gain knowledge from the artist that's there. They learn the specifics of carrying out a workshop, right from preparation through to conducting the workshop to to evaluating the workshop. Um, it wasn't just like a snapshot that maybe we'd be doing in school, it was more detailed and focusing like on, on prints and lino and different ink and how to use it, how to use the rollers and the children all had positive feedback and um, you could see even between them just going around noticing that they'd have um, what's in your picture, what do you like, um, what can you see there. So um, and particularly I thought they'd find it hard when it came to emotions and um, not drawing kind of smiley faces or stars but they really got into it and now it's just second nature to them. So we find that their language that they're coming out with now after several weeks of the art project is bewildering in its extensity and its range. They're using words like installation, sculpture, they're using words like artwork, they're using words like space and place and they're very familiar with the different materials that they're using, foam and felt and clay and the found objects that Laura brings in every week. I think when we get down to the art centre and see their work in place It'll also give them a bigger understanding of what they were working towards. And then, then even watching them learn as they've made mistakes and as they've realised what they've done and had to go back and to reshoot or to remake. So they've really, really enjoyed that. And I think that's what's really exciting for them. They're the directors, the writers, the creators, the stars, the actors. And that, watching them, their little skills development and self-confidence, huge building of self-confidence, I would say, that has come to the fore. So overall, I think it's been an amazing project. I've loved it. I would love to have it again. I think everybody should have it. Um, I think the teacher can learn an awful lot by watching the children. I've learned a huge amount about art as well. And to watch them develop their skills throughout the whole of the project has been... Super. The project culminates in an end of year exhibition in Wexford Art Centre. Um, this shows the respect that we place on the work that is created by the artists and by the young people in the Living Art Project. This art class was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing and I really enjoyed it. Loved it. <laughs>